Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province recently initiated the pursuit of a joint South Korea-North Korea application for the designation of the demilitarized zone as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, signing a cooperation agreement with Gangwon Province and the Korean Cultural Heritage Administration. Dividing the Korean Peninsula roughly in half, the demilitarized zone, also known as the DMZ, is an approximately four kilometer wide strip of land running across the peninsula from east to west. It has remained untouched for more than 60 years, enabling it to become an ecological haven. With this agreement, which was signed on July 11th, Gangwon Province, a neighboring province that also borders North Korea, and the Korean Cultural Heritage Administration will work together with Gyeonggi Province to realize the inter-Korean application. The two border provinces will oversee site surveys, academic studies and application preparation, while the Korean Cultural Heritage Administration will undertake inter-Korean liaison efforts. The three participants will also jointly organize related forums and seek cooperation from other authorities, including the Korean Ministry of Defense. The significance of the Korean DMZ recently recaptured global attention when it became the scene of the summit between South Korea, North Korea and the United States. Seeking to transform this former conflict zone into a place of peace and reconciliation through UNESCO World Heritage Site designation, Gyeonggi Province has proposed corresponding plans to the Korean central government. In December, the province will hold a public forum on that subject with the participation of border area residents. Gyeonggi Province began providing local government officials with customized education on basic income, unconditional welfare payments for all, so as to propagate its basic income policies as alternative solutions to social issues such as income imbalance and decreasing job numbers. On July 8th at Yangju City Hall, Gyeonggi Province provided more than 100 city officials with customized basic income education and received enthusiastic responses from the officials. During this education program, an instructor from the Institute for Political and Economic Alternatives explained the concept and characteristics of basic income in layman's terms as well as common misunderstandings. <laughs> 정기적으로 주는 돈인데 개인 모두에게 무조건적으로. The following instructor, the Gyeonggi Province Chief Secretary for Policies, explained the province's basic income pursuits as well as related individual policies. 창작 능력을 확대하는 데서 최소한의 삶이 보장되면 그분들의 창조성은 더욱 더 확대될 수 있는 것이고. Gyeonggi's Policy Development Support Group Director introduced the use of local currency for basic income payments. Gyeonggi Province will continue customized basic income education for local officials in a circuit of the province so as to provide regional support of basic income policies. In a contest featuring regional commercial area revitalization projects, the Ildong Commercial Area in Pochon City and the Culture Street in Osan City were selected from among four finalists as recipients of provincial support. Pochon City's project includes the utilization of vacant shops and former military base facilities in an area that is suffering an economic slowdown after the relocation of a military base. 지역 주민과 함께 상생하고 차, 화합하고 참여해서 꽃보다 아름다운 거리를 조성하고 그걸 통해서 상권을 재생해서 소상공인과 주민 강남이 행복한 그런 마을을 만들고자 화동루 문화의 거리 사업을 
신청하게 됐습니다. In the final round of this contest, titled Commercial Area of Hope Project Auditions, the projects of the cities of Osan and Pocheon won the top most positions. Project selection was based on evaluations by professionals for 60% of the total score and by audience members for 40%. 이번에 이제 평가 기준은 상권에 지원하는 게 얼마나 시급했는지, 그 다음에 이제 사업 계획이 얼마나 적정한지 이런 기준으로 평가를 했습니다. The selected projects will each receive provincial support of 1 billion Korean won. 저희 어, 포천시 일동면은 군사 도시로서 테마가 없는 그런 그 도시였습니다. 일동면의 랜드마크를 하나 개발을 하여서 어, 많은 관광객, 관광객들이 저희 일동면으로 어, 찾아올 수 있는. The Culture Street Project of Osan City focuses on serving youths, the largest customer group. Osan City has a lot of interest in the city. There are a lot of people who have been involved in this project. We have a lot of beauty and beauty. Selected projects will also receive other forms of provincial support, including diagnostic consultations, crisis management programs, and landmark development assistance. 그 전문가들이 그 상권에 대해서 구체적으로 진단을 하게 됩니다. 진단을 하고 그 진단 결과에 따라 가지고 신원에어 소프트웨어 하드웨어에 대해서 어떤 식으로 지원을 해 가지고 그 상권을 활성화할 수 있는지 또 그리고 이거는 단년 사업이지만은 앞으로도 또 지속적으로 발전하기 위해서는 어떤 방안이 필요한지에 대해서 구체적인 방안을 수립하고 지원할 계획으로 있습니다. Beginning with support of two commercial areas this year, Gyeonggi Province will invest a total of 8 billion Korean won to support eight commercial areas by the year 2022. Kyunggi Province is operating a visiting classroom program for the children of working class families who cannot afford private education so that they can receive fair educational opportunities while providing residents with job opportunities as instructors. Today, students of the Special School for Children with Developmental Disorders welcome a visit by Yoon, a weekly reading class teacher. This class helps children with autism improve their sociability through behavioral education. It is receiving positive responses from students who seldom have such opportunities for diverse education. 인성 덕목의 중요성을 깨우치면 그 다음 시간 때는 아그 인성의 저번 주에 배운 협동의 인성에 대해서 다시 다시 한번 떠 떠올려 볼때저 학교 가서 친구들 가방 떨어졌어요. 이렇게 말을 할때 많이 보람을 느낍니다. The visiting classroom program employs instructors recruited from among career discontinued women and youths after they have received appropriate training. This year, 942 residents completed training courses in five fields, including basic supplementary education, culture and art, and behavioral development. Among these graduates, 400 are actively working, visiting more than 300 locations, and teaching over 44,000 students. 어, 능력이 있지만 어, 일할 기회가 적은 분들에게 어, 기회를 주는 그런 그 일자리 창출의 효과가 굉장히 크고요. 또한 어, 과외나 이런 여러 가지 그 방과후 학습에 굉장히 소외될 수 있는 초학계층 아동들에게 어, 평등한 교육 기회를 어, 제공한다는 의미에서. Applications for visiting classroom support can be made by contacting the Happy Learning Desk at the Gyeonggi Provincial Institute for Lifelong Learning. On July 12th, the first of three days in summer when Koreans traditionally eat dog meat, Kim Basinger, an actress and animal rights activist, and Krista Rose, president of an animal protection organization, visited Gyeonggi Province to express appreciation for the closure of dog slaughterhouses, including those in Moran Market of Sungnam City. After participating in a street campaign to protest the consumption of dog meat, these two American animal rights activists visited the Gyeonggi Provincial Government Complex to meet with Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung. During their visit, Governor Lee expressed his support for animal protection movements. 
for being so courageous, closing down the markets and the slaughterhouses. You're a very brave, courageous man. And yes, a you pioneer. are. Especially for those who cannot speak for themselves. Governor Lee suggested encouragement and respect instead of force and criticism in animal protection efforts. He also expressed his desire for a peaceful world in which neither humans nor animals face discrimination. Last December, Kyungi Province conducted a crackdown on unlicensed dog slaughtering and cruelty to animals in traditional markets, enforcing the punishment of violators. With the risks posed by water and food-related contagions increasing after the early arrival of summer heat, Kyungi Province intensified its efforts to prevent related diseases before the summer holiday season begins. These diseases strike when pathogenic organisms are consumed with water or food, with norovirus being the most frequently encountered pathogen. During the first half of this year, there were 71 cases of water and food-related disease outbreaks, with 914 patients reported in Kyungi Province. Among these, 54 outbreaks occurred through restaurants, followed by 17 outbreaks at schools. 저희도 좀 일찍 찾아왔고요. 그리고 이게 어떻게든 개인들이 너무 바쁜 생활을 하다 보니까 외식도 좀 많이 늘어나는 것 같고요. 이게 아마 그런 원인이 되지 않겠나고 생각합니다. 올해 들어 A형 간염 환자가 지속적으로 발생하는 데다 수인성 식품 매개 감염병이 지역과 시기를 구분하지 않고 다양한 형태로 발생하고 있습니다. Kyungi Province has mobilized an emergency response system, including 24-7 communication with disease control centers and public medical centers, so as to intercept and prevent these infectious diseases. Kyungi Province will also endeavor to minimize food poisoning risks through the operation of a related inspection team and publicizing preventive measures while intensifying the activities of the Kyungi Province Infectious Disease Control Support Team. 여름철 휴가 기간 동안 어, 물놀이라든지 해외에 나가는 그 음, 인원이 많습니다. 그래서 그 인원에 대한 대책으로 어, 저희가 그 어, 중점적으로 어, 적극적으로 홍보할 예정에 있습니다. Kyungi Province emphasizes the importance of personal hygiene, especially during the summer when pathogens in water and food become more active due to the hot, wet environment. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.